I quit. I'm done. I've had enough. That's it. We're finished. How many times have you said that in your life? And yet you end up back in the same cycle again. I know I've been there myself. I don't know how many times I've said these words to myself. And yet for those who are deeply sensitive women, we get stuck in this cycle. We say I quit, but we don't actually get past it. We don't get to move forward through it. And the struggle I had a lot when it came to my I quit was around my depression and anxiety. Every time it came up, I would say, I quit this. I've had enough of feeling this way. I will not come back to this cycle again. And yet I would always end up back there. And it was really frustrating, really, really frustrating to know that I had made this commitment to myself. I had made this statement to myself that that was enough, that I would not go back there. And yet I was there again. But it changed when I got angry. That fear, the gate, the shame, the guilt around that depression, anxiety. When I got to the point of just being angry about it, when I said enough, I quit. I fully and utterly quit this. I do not feel guilty about it. I do not feel shameful about it. I quit. That's when everything changed. But took one extra step further. So yes, I said I quit. Great. I actually meant it. But how was I going to reinforce it? That's where knowing what to do plays a huge part in stopping these cycles that play out in our lives. And the biggest thing that we forget to do is to take tangible self-responsibility. I know, I know, big words sound a bit scary, but I promise they're not. What I simply mean is putting something in place that you can physically point to. So maybe you're saying, I quit my daughter, my daughter's tantrums and being present for them. So you can actually say, I quit allowing my child to yell and scream at me like that. And then point at yourself walking away from the situation you could maybe you have a friend who invites you out for lunch all the time but after you've had those conversations with her yet again you feel drained you feel tired you feel miserable and you realize you really don't enjoy this person's company take tangible self-responsibility and say no to that lunch date you can point at yourself saying no and they're not going to that lunch. There are plenty of different ways that you can take tangible self-responsibility in your life and supporting that I quit statement. Don't just draw the line in the sand and then erase it the moment things get slightly uncomfortable. You have to put your foot down. You have to get angry enough to say, I will not allow you to do this to me anymore. I will not allow myself to receive this anymore. Once I did that, I actually stopped my depression and anxiety cycle completely. And after the year I had, that is a huge accomplishment for me. I'd been stuck in these cycles most of my life and it feels different. I'm still getting used to it, so I can't say it feel, It does feel amazing. It feels amazing to not be in that cycle anymore and to know that if it starts, I have the power to pull myself out simply from the words, I quit, which is really, really cool. It's a really, really wonderful space to be in. And I want that for everyone. I am really passionate about helping other women stop these cycles from happening in their lives. Because when we find our power, when we are truly ourselves again, that's when we can help others. But we've got to get to the point of being ourselves first, which means living and loving courageously. So if you are trying to find that confidence and the courage to finally live your life on purpose, to finally stop those cycles that are ruling your life, 
please reach out to me. I can do a free intuitive reading for you and we can find out the three steps you need to take right now to get your life back on track. Love and kindness, my friend.